you have probably been in a group of people where you felt unnoticed, undervalued, or at least not recognized as you deserved. This has happened to everyone, whether in a romantic relationship, a group of friends, at work, or within the family. It's a feeling of powerlessness and frustration that no one likes to go through. At the same time, we notice that sometimes other people end up being the center of attention in these situations, and we can feel overshadowed and diminished when this happens. According to Stoic philosophy, we cannot expect to be noticed by others because this may seem out of our reach, and such recognition may not happen. However, there are ways to stand out, be noticed, and be recognized, and that's what we're going to discuss in this video. If you can master and apply these techniques, it's quite feasible that you'll be more noticed by others than you currently are. Moreover, it's very important to remember that if you start being more noticed and recognized, you will definitely have more opportunities in all areas of life. In any area you can imagine, especially in love and professional life. Therefore, I ask you to watch this video until the end, as all the steps are connected and part of a complete strategy. Keep your focus on the content and not on daily distractions. Let's go. Number 7. Open-mindedness. In the dynamic fabric of human interactions, standing out is not just a matter of physical or verbal presence, but also of mental attitude. Here, open-mindedness emerges as a crucial element, not just for being noticed and perceived, but also for enriching and adding depth to human interactions. This mindset acts as a magnetic force, attracting and maintaining the attention and respect of others, making someone not only visible, but also valued in any social context. Open-mindedness, at its core, is a willingness to accept and explore new ideas and perspectives, even if they deviate from the conventional or the familiar. It's the ability to see beyond established norms, to question the status quo, and to consider the world through different lenses. This quality not only allows a person to absorb a wider range of knowledge and experiences, but also conveys a disposition for growth and adaptability. Traits highly valued in a constantly evolving society. In a romantic relationship, for example, open-mindedness can mean the difference between a bond that stagnates and one that flourishes with new experiences and shared learning. In the workplace, it opens doors for innovations and creative solutions, positioning the person as a valuable thinker and contributor. In circles of friends or in family contexts, this openness is fertile ground for enriching discussions and a deeper understanding of each one's unique perspectives. However, open-mindedness goes beyond the mere passive acceptance of new ideas. It involves a proactivity in seeking and valuing unconventional thoughts. It's a stance that encourages and celebrates intellectual and cultural diversity, seeing it as an opportunity to expand one's own horizons. By valuing the innovative ideas presented by others, a person not only gains respect and admiration, but also positions themselves as a thought leader, someone unafraid to navigate uncharted waters. Furthermore, open-mindedness is an invitation to collaboration and dialogue. When a person is open to new ideas, they invite others to share their perspectives, creating an environment of mutual exchange and enrichment. This exchange not only strengthens existing relationships, but also attracts new connections, as people are naturally drawn to those who listen to, respect, and value them. Open-mindedness is a key that unlocks the unlimited potential of human interactions. It allows a person to stand out not by being the loudest, but by being the most receptive, the most innovative, and the most connected to the diversity of human thought. In a world that values innovation and adaptability, being mentally open is not just a way to be noticed. It's a way to lead with impact and meaning. Number six, charismatic presence. At the heart of charismatic presence is authenticity. 
Charismatic people are genuine in their interactions. They do not mask their true personalities in exchange for approval. This authenticity creates a deep connection with others, as in a world full of facades and appearances. Sincerity is refreshing and attractive. When you are authentic, you become unforgettable. Emotional intelligence also plays a crucial role. A charismatic person is perceptive to the feelings of others, responding in an empathetic and considered manner. They know when to speak and when to listen, creating a balance that makes each interaction meaningful. This sensitivity to others not only increases your presence, but also creates an environment where people feel valued and understood. Moreover, a charismatic presence is fueled by passion. When someone talks about something they love or believe in deeply, their energy and enthusiasm are contagious. This passion does not need to be loud. It can be conveyed through a calm but fervent conversation that shows the depth of your commitment and interest. In summary, a charismatic presence is a combination of authenticity, emotional intelligence, passion, and confidence. It's not about being the flashiest or the brightest in the room, but about being the most memorable in a way that resonates deeply with those around you. It's a quality that transforms simple encounters into moments of genuine and lasting connection. Number five, self-confidence. In a world where social and professional dynamics are increasingly complex and competitive, the art of being noticed and perceived by all becomes a valuable aspect. In this context, self-confidence emerges as a fundamental quality, not only for attracting attention, but for maintaining it in a positive and influential way. Self-confidence can transform how others perceive us and, more importantly, how it can shape our own journey towards success and recognition. Self-confidence is the cornerstone upon which personal presence is built. It's not just a matter of external appearance or verbal skills. It's an internal conviction, a deep knowledge of one's own abilities and worth. When a person believes in themselves, this feeling is reflected in every action, word, and decision. This inner certainty is noticeable and captivating. It attracts the eyes and ears of people around, creating a natural magnetism. In the context of a romantic relationship, self-confidence is attractive because it suggests stability and security. In a work environment, it inspires respect and admiration, positioning the person as a natural leader, someone worthy of following. Among friends and family, self-confidence builds a foundation for stronger and more balanced relationships, where the person is seen as a pillar of strength and reliability. However, it's crucial to understand that true self-confidence does not derive from arrogance or egocentrism. Instead, it is born from realistic self-knowledge, a sincere understanding of one's own strengths and weaknesses. Genuine confidence is accompanied by humility and the ability to learn and grow. It's not about feeling superior to others, but about feeling secure in one's own abilities and contributions. Moreover, self-confidence influences how we deal with failure and success. A self-confident person sees failures as opportunities for learning and growth, not as a refutation of their value or competence. Similarly, they embrace success without letting it go to their head, maintaining a sense of perspective and gratitude. To develop this confidence, constant self-reflection, seeking constructive feedback, and a willingness to challenge oneself and step out of the comfort zone are essential. The process of building self-confidence is continuous and dynamic, requiring dedication and authenticity. Thus, self-confidence is much more than a means to be noticed. It's an essential tool for navigating the complexities of social and professional life. It allows us to be seen and remembered positively, and more importantly, to walk through life with a sense of purpose and fulfillment. Self-confidence, therefore, is not just about how others see us, but about how we see ourselves, and, in turn, how we shape our path in the world. Number four, independence. 
This attribute is, at its core, a manifestation of self-sufficiency and self-confidence. It does not imply isolation or rejection of external help, but rather the ability to make decisions and act based on personal judgments and internal values. This quality is intrinsically attractive, as it exhibits a strength of character and a clarity of purpose that are rare nowadays, and therefore admirable in romantic relationships. Independence is the basis for a balanced and healthy bond, where each partner values and respects the other's space and individuality. In the workplace, independence translates into initiative and innovation attributes of an effective leader or a valuable collaborator. In social circles, independence is synonymous with originality and authenticity, characteristics that naturally attract attention and interest. Moreover, independence is intrinsically linked to freedom of thought. An independent person thinks critically and originally and is not afraid to express opinions that challenge the conventional. This type of independent thinking not only attracts attention but also inspires respect and admiration as it indicates an engaged mind and a strong personality. However, true independence goes beyond self-confidence and free thinking. It also involves responsibility. Being independent means being responsible for one's actions and their consequences without seeking culprits or external excuses. This responsibility reinforces the image of an integral and reliable person, further increasing their visibility and stature in the eyes of others. To cultivate independence, a combination of self-knowledge, courage, and discipline is essential. Recognizing and understanding one's own needs, desires, and limitations is the first step. Courage allows facing challenges and resisting pressure to conform. Discipline ensures the consistency needed to maintain independence in the long term. In summary, independence is a powerful tool to be noticed and perceived by all. It transforms how a person is viewed by others, as well as enriching their own life journey. More than an admirable trait, independence is a path to a life of authenticity, respect, and significant influence. Number three, intelligence and creativity. In a world saturated with stimuli and competing voices, being noticed and perceived by everyone is truly a challenge. In this scenario, a combination of intelligence and creativity emerges as a powerful force, not only for capturing attention, but for maintaining it and transforming it into admiration and respect. The fusion of these two attributes can create a unique magnetism, positioning an individual as an unforgettable and influential figure in any context. Intelligence, by itself, is a powerful tool. It enables analysis, understanding, and navigation through the complex labyrinth of human interactions and professional challenges. When combined with creativity, intelligence transcends conventional limits, opening doors to innovative solutions and original ideas. This combination is particularly potent because it not only solves problems, but redefines them, offering new and surprising perspectives that capture others' imagination. For example, in a romantic relationship, the combination of intelligence and creativity can signify a fresh and engaging approach to communication and the sharing of experiences, enriching the connection and keeping the flame alive for a long time. In the workplace, these qualities can position someone as a thought leader or an innovator, someone whose ideas not only resonate, but also inspire action and change. In social circles, the combination of intelligence and creativity naturally attracts attention as people are drawn to conversations that stimulate thought and awaken curiosity. However, intelligence and creativity are not limited to the production of ideas. They also involve the ability to listen and adapt. A person who knows when to apply their intelligence and when to let their creativity flow in response to the environment and circumstances around them demonstrates an attractiveness that is both appealing and respectable. Moreover,
Creativity combined with intelligence is a gateway to unique personal expression. In a world where many follow trends and patterns, those who use their creativity to express their individuality in an intelligent way stand out. Whether it's in the choice of words, personal style, or approach to challenges, this unique expression leaves a lasting impression. To develop these qualities, it's essential to cultivate an environment that nurtures both critical thinking and the freedom to explore. This can involve everything from diverse reading and continuous learning to experimenting in different forms of art or solving problems in unconventional ways. Intelligence and creativity are more than tools to be noticed. They are the key to becoming an unforgettable presence. They allow an individual not only to attract attention, but also to maintain it. Transforming ordinary interactions into extraordinary experiences and leaving an indelible mark on those they interact with. Number two, body language. In a world where words are often spoken without weight and conversations can be forgotten as quickly as they start. Body language emerges as a silent but extremely powerful means of communication. Being noticed and perceived by everyone depends not only on what is said, but also on how it's said. And body language speaks volumes. It is certainly an effective tool for standing out in any social, professional, or personal context. Body language is the nonverbal subtlety that accompanies our words, acting as an amplifier or a moderator of the message we want to convey. An upright posture, firm eye contact, controlled gestures, and a genuine smile can transform an ordinary interaction into something memorable. These nonverbal elements have the power to demonstrate confidence, empathy, interest, and openness. Qualities that naturally attract the attention and respect of others. In the context of a romantic relationship, body language can express affection, attention, and connection without the need for words. In a work environment, confident posture and open body language can establish a presence of leadership and collaboration. Among friends and family, body language is a sincere indicator of support and understanding, often communicating more than words could. However, the effectiveness of body language lies in its authenticity. Body language that seems forced or inconsistent with spoken words can send confusing or dishonest messages. Therefore, the key is to develop body awareness that allows for natural and congruent expression. This involves not only self-awareness, but also sensitivity to read and appropriately respond to the body language of others. Moreover, body language can be a powerful means of self-affirmation. By adopting body language that reflects confidence and positivity, we can start to feel more confident and positive. This is a way of talking to ourselves and others, a communication that transcends words and has a profound impact on our self-image and how others perceive us. To improve body language, it is helpful to practice self-observation and perhaps even receive feedback from others. Observing how leaders and influential people behave and how they use body language can offer valuable insights. Additionally, attending social interactions or participating in body language workshops can be effective methods for enhancing this skill. Thus, body language is a crucial facet of human communication and an invaluable tool for being noticed and perceived by everyone. It has the power not only to complement and reinforce our words, but also to convey our essence in a way that words alone cannot. Mastering the art of body language is mastering the art of effective and influential communication. Number one, good humor. In a world where seriousness often dominates social and professional interactions, good humor emerges as a refreshing breeze of originality and charisma. Being noticed is not just a matter of visibility, but also of leaving a lasting and positive impression. Good humor in this context is not just the ability to provoke laughter, but a way of approaching life and relationships with lightness, optimism, and a touch of contagious joy. This last item doesn't mean telling jokes or being the class clown. 
It's about having a mental attitude that sees the positive side of situations and finds joy, even in challenging circumstances. This approach can completely transform the dynamics of a relationship, making coexistence lighter and more enjoyable. Good humor can relieve tensions, strengthen bonds between people, and create a healthier living environment. Moreover, good humor is an indicator of emotional resilience. People who can maintain good humor in the face of challenges demonstrate an ability to handle adversity in a natural way. This resilience is not only attractive to others, but also a source of personal strength, helping to maintain a balanced perspective through life's ups and downs. However, it is important to differentiate genuine good humor from forced or inappropriate comedy. True good humor is not about making jokes at all costs, but about an authentic cheerfulness that is naturally attractive. It's about knowing when and how to add a note of lightness without disrespecting or minimizing the seriousness of certain situations. It's a delicate balance between bringing joy and maintaining sensitivity to circumstances and others' feelings. Besides being an attractive quality, good humor is also contagious. It can change the atmosphere of an environment, positively influencing the mood of those around. In a group, whether of friends or colleagues, someone with good humor often becomes the point of union and the source of positive energy, naturally attracting the attention and admiration of others. To cultivate good humor, it's essential to develop a positive attitude towards life, practice empathy, and learn to laugh at oneself. Self-awareness and the ability to see humor in the small things of everyday life are fundamental. Spending time with people who have a sharp sense of humor can help develop this skill, in case this is not your strong point and you are open to changes. Thus, good humor is often an underestimated tool, but extremely effective for being noticed and perceived by everyone. It not only improves our own quality of life, but also enriches interactions with others, leaving a warm and lasting impression. Thank you for watching. Your support is essential for us to continue sharing knowledge and inspiration with everyone. Please comment on what you thought of the video. We value your opinion. I'll leave here some complimentary content that delves into other related topics. See you soon.